Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has hailed the recent nuclear conclusion reached between Iran and the P5 plus 1 as a historic victory that was achieved thanks to the steadfastness of the Iranian nation. We told the whole world that they cannot force the Iranian nation to surrender through pressure, threats and sanctions. Therefore, the world once again had to bow down to the will, greatness and steadfastness of the Iranian nation in Vienna. Rani added that Iranian diplomats managed to settle what he called the most complex and significant political issue in the world through negotiations, a reference to the 12-year dispute between Iran and the West over the country's nuclear energy program. Iran and the P5 plus 1 group of countries wrapped up their marathon talks in the Austrian capital of Vienna earlier this month. Rouhani further downplayed America's military threats, urging the U.S. government to treat Iran with respect. Mohamed Hassan Khan is a professor at Imam Saad University, joining us in the studios. Tell us what he thinks about uh, the speech by President Hassan Rouhani. Well, Professor Khani, welcome. Uh, one of the things that I thought was very interesting was the fact that uh, President Rouhani zoomed in on uh, the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, amongst other things, and he said how uh, Kerry is defending Iran uh, as a whole in front of the Senate Ar Arms Committee when uh, he was being questioned, basically not just defending the nuclear conclusion, but defending Iran as a whole in terms of sanctions that have been placed and other factors, which in the front of the American public, especially those U.S. officials, hardliners, uh, that was, a, a, I guess, a great point of strength for Iran when the Secretary of State of the United States is doing that. Well, this is a very interesting point in my view. At least there are three reasons that why Americans are now uh, arriving at a stage that they've never been before when it comes to recognition, or we can say the confession about the Iranian nuclear industry. First and the most important one is the fact that they have recognized Iran as a nuclear power. They have mentioned in many briefings saying that, okay, we couldn't do anything about it. Iranians have the knowledge and it's there. We cannot do anything about it. Iran is a nuclear power, like it or not. This is number one. Number two is the fact that they somehow emphasized that the sanctions didn't work. Uh, in John Kerry's word and also the other members of the Congress, we are listening again and again that uh, well, the sanctions were not going to take us anywhere. So that means that the sanction didn't work, as Iranians said for several years, that if you want to solve this problem, we should come forward with a logic and to dialogue, to start a dialogue. And the last one is the fact that from this day on, I mean the post-Vienna uh, deal, Nobody in the world can claim or accuse Iran is following uh, the nuclear uh, power for the military purposes and they cannot simply accuse Iran of being a threat to an international peace and security. These three are among the most important achievements in my view that Iran somehow achieved in uh, Vienna negotiations in after a marathon negotiation with the world power which concluded in Vienna in July 14th. Do you think that the U.S. Secretary of State along with now the U.S. Vice President Joe Biden who has talked to Israeli officials are going to be able to uh, thwart the massive uh, uh, advertising campaign as an example along with other media PR uh, stunts that are being used to demonize this whole nuclear conclusion that these two officials uh, of high-ranking officials, that is, will be able to convince not only Americans but, is, but Israeli and Amer other American officials that this was the best option? Well, Obama administration is facing a very, very tough challenge when it comes to the Congress, and we should not forget that Israeli lobby is still very active. There are those in Tel Aviv who still wishes that can sabotage or derail the agreement. Uh, we cannot undermine any of these um, challenges, but uh, I remain to be cautiously optimistic and hopeful that Obama can pass this through. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you, My Professor uh, Mohammed Hassan Khani, Professor at the Imam Sadiq University here in the studios. Thank you so much.